All right, so I wanted to show a couple more methods that um, I ran into really quickly. So I'm going to come into this and I'm going to make a copy of this reference plane by holding down the, like selecting it, holding down the control key, wait till the move is current, and then dragging it off. And I'm not really overly concerned about accuracy in this one, so I'm just making two new reference planes. Then I'm going to set this one current. And I'm going to be real sloppy here, so y'all be more accurate. Um, I'm just going to draw a start end radius arc right here. So just pull it over. And I would typically center all this, but again, I'm going pretty quick. So I'm going to make that arc there. And then I want to have another arc over here, and I don't want to fiddle with trying to get it lined up. So I'm going to pick this plane. I'm going to go to pick here. And then I'm just going to pick on that, and it's going to project that onto the plane. And then I can come in and sort of pull this out so it's centered. All right. Now, if you have structure underneath and you have to make another surface on top, you can come along and use the offset. So if I have an object selected, so if I come and select that object, I go to modify, there's an offset right here. And I can set that offset to five feet and it will just make an offset for me so I can make two surfaces at a later date. So right now I can pick that and pick that and go to create form and it'll create a form. I can come in, select that form, divide the surface, um, pick the divided surface and under surface representation, turn on those nodes, right? And I'm not gonna rotate it or do anything right now, but you can come over and rotate it, change the divisions. I can come into my generic models and let's go ahead and load one. I've only got an ellipse, which would look pretty funny. So I'll just go to insert, load family. I'll go to my custom library, go to my generic models, and let's go to adaptive and sound building. I think under King's Cross, I've got a three point tube. So I'll just open that and that'll load in. And now I can take that three point tube and I can come in and go one, two, three, right? And once I'm done with that, I can pick that and go to my repeater. And it'll take a moment, but it'll put that thing all over it. And then if I needed to create another surface, I could go ahead and, and do that with this one right I mean the other thing you could do of course is you could put a a pane of glass in here if you wanted to as part of the component alright so there's that one another one is if I come in here and put a reference line in and I'm just gonna plunk a reference line down on the ground plane right I can come in and pick this guy and divide that surface or sorry, divide that line. And then I have this component that's just a tube around an ellipse, right? And so if I close that, I can then drag this out and it will place itself on there. And I can then pick it and repeat it, right, in the same way. So you're you can make ribs that way. Um, I'm trying to think, and those are consistent size ribs. Um, if you wanted to, you know, you could have an ellipse here, an ellipse here, and a bigger ellipse in the middle, and you know, loft those, and then divide that surface and do the same thing. So, anyway, those are two different versions. So I think that's about it. Um, I'll see you guys on at the end of the week.